Good evening, my brothers and sisters. How are you? Friday evening here, May 27th, and just uh, wanting to say hi. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting there uh, just enjoying the moment. And I looked over here and I thought, golly, that is pretty. You know, that's just a pretty view. We're going to call this the watering can video. And uh, just a minute, I'm going to say hi, greetings, and salutations. I'm going to zoom back here, kind of. All right, then. Hey there. Um, I got a few compliments on the road trip and video when I was on the bicycle. I don't know if you saw that. You should check out YouTube, The Truther Boys. Yeah, The Truther Boys YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Paul. I started the YouTube channel in a tribute to uh, uh, a woman who inspired me, uh, Sonia, The Truther Girls. Check out her uh, stuff. She is, uh, she is high tech. She is, uh, you know, scripted. She is researched. She has a she has a, a sweet little lisp, very cool. Uh, I believe she's ha happily married. I hope she's happily married. If she's married, I hope she's happily married. You know, it's really a choice. Happily, each moment, day by day. You know, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I have been certainly overbearing, critical, judgmental, and harsh lots of my years. I'm, I'm 54 years old. Uh, you know, and I know I don't look like it. Um, and you know what? I'm certainly have the activity level of of a, a three-year-old boy in his backyard playing. You know, and, and I love to walk and hike and crawl in the woods and the, through the bushes. And you know, I need to expand my horizons, don't you think? Don't you think maybe a little? Uh, I don't know. You know, those, some of those adventure movies um, maybe get a hold of. Tell me, I can't be on. I can't be on uh, Survivor. Because I have more than a misdemeanor. Uh, yeah, marijuana charge. Can't even believe it. I'm not even going to go into it. It's just so ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, got me a little prison time, too. Like, you know, I, I'm not... Never mind. Stop it, Paul, 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 Paul. Relax. <sighs> okay. Anyway, I posted a, a memorial today for my uh, ex-wife. Uh she passed into the atmosphere in September of last year three months before her 50th birthday she was too cool to uh, hit 50 you know uh, it was just her I love 50 I love 50 I can't wait to 55 double nickel you know every every age has kind of got their own little thing but anyway you know uh, she what a significant woman she was we were married for 13 years 11 months and about 20 20 days and uh, yes I kept track uh, we were uh, divorced uh, about, we've been divorced 10 years t uh, since the past September. Yes, we got divorced actually uh, in August. So, uh, oh, uh, one, we were divorced uh, 10 years. And uh, so, but you know, we worked a lot of things out. And uh, we, we learned about, I learned about forgiveness. And I think she learned about forgiveness definitely too. Uh, we had some uh, very intense talks uh, some uh, uh, just a few months prior to uh her decision to uh, leave this physical body that she had, and uh, you know, it, it, she had worn it down. She'd she'd uh, she'd lived hard, um, rebellious. Uh, wasn't going to follow any directions, even if they were good for her. Uh, pretty much most of her life, I've tried to. Uh, I lived a lot the same way, and I'm trying to make better decisions about what's gonna, you know, help me to stay healthy and active and get younger uh, I walk every day I don't smoke cigarettes anymore I don't drink alcohol anymore um, I don't smoke marijuana anymore uh, because I'm on parole for marijuana uh, which is you know that's a whole nother video really and you know what I heard truther girls I heard truther girls doesn't uh, like the idea of medical marijuana I'd like to hear more I need to watch that video uh, because it's one of the most powerful natural medications on this planet. It always has been. You know, we knew that uh, 60 years ago. That's why we could go in the drugstore and get a, a tincture of, uh, of, uh, of uh, marijuana and a tincture of cocaine. You know, different pains for different things. Uh, different things for different pains. Um, and there's always going to be people that overdo things. You know, look, I mean, I'm an, I'm an alcohol overdoer, you know. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm not going to go into the history, but alcohol isn't my friend. It's not a lot of people's friends. It's probably not, you know, it could be even not your friend, uh, you know. And 
if you if you've ever had to deal with uh, alcohol issues, uh, or if you ever got a DWI, you know I have. Uh, you know they're not. Uh, it's not a pleasant time in your life. You know, it's stressful, and, I, and I'm so glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. You know, and and I haven't driven in seven years, uh, six and a half years, for uh, uh, for the reason of getting DWIs. And it's probably the, one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It didn't start out that way, but I'm in such you know. I walk, I ride my bike, I take the bus, I, I can walk circles around m most people that I know, uh, for sure. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm going to close this out, I, the evening is beautiful, the winds are calm, uh, it's a good night, I get to work tomorrow all day doing some drywall stuff for a guy who uh, lets me stay on this beautiful property, uh, we're just going to call him T, uh, T is a hell of a businessman, he's a good human being. Uh, he vibrates good energy, um, and he uh, he is a um, compassionate and caring human being. And, you know, I, I'm thankful that I attract those kind of people, uh, you know, and uh, I didn't used to. I used to attract people that, you know, uh, weren't as kind and loving. Uh, so I appreciate you Facebook friends. I, I appreciate you people that leave comments on videos. Uh, you know, no matter what they are, uh, I feel a certain connection to to you all. And uh, with that, peace, love, and preparation, my brothers and sisters. And you know, it's not about stocking up the bunkers and 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 uh, buying ammo and buying new weapons for the ammo. And and it's not about um, you know storing up food. And you know, it's about thinking beautiful, loving, kind thoughts and raising your vibration and filling yourself up full of love and joy and peace and harmony so you overflow and then everywhere you go it spills out onto other people that's what I'm digging you know like Joe said Joe Derek life's a garden dig it <laughs>